We hear a lot from its opponents. I welcome that almost uniquely on television. I like debates. I'm glad that you are here. We disagree. I think we should have a, a conversation. You do not have the right to scream at me in front of my children in a restaurant. Surround my house on the weekend when my kids are home. Come to my church. Go to their soccer games. Go to my parents' funerals. Do you see the difference between having a debate over the issues and intimidating people in the public space? Well, let's understand that the entirety of this issue started with a lack of messaging by, on the part of the administration by not explaining what the detention policy is, by not explaining what exactly is happening to these children. If the president and the, and the administration want to have a conversation about this, do what other administrations have done. Go do town halls around the country. Speak to voters. Let the people express their feelings to the administration. Understand what public opinion is. Don't simply hide behind the walls of power. And okay. nobody's going okay. to people's yeah. soccer games or okay. funerals okay. or going it's not my job. They're saying no, actually, in public. Well, those are public spaces, and I guess the point I'm making is once you start describing people you disagree with politically as Nazis, as the worst category of almost non-human beings, you are almost by definition encouraging, first of all, you're, you're closing out any possibility of agreement or compromise, and you're basically saying, hurt them. I mean, what do you do to, honestly, I'm, I'm being sincere with you, what do you do to a Nazi? If you really thought Nazis were taking over the country, you know what I would do? I would consider force. I, I don't want to be governed by Nazis. So that's why we don't talk that way, because it, by its definition, it encourages violence, right? But no, Tucker, let's understand that during the Obama administration, he was accused of being everything from a Muslim uh, sleeper cell to not an American citizen. This is what happens. Joe Walsh, Walsh yelled at you lie during the presidential address. The discourse that we have in this nation has become caustic. Somebody has to fix the issue. But right now, when you have an administration that refuses to okay. speak to the American people, it's difficult to get in there. Okay, again, again I, it's not my job to flack for the White House. But holy smokes, he just did an hour-long live event yesterday, he's doing an hour-long live event tomorrow. I mean, they speak a lot. That's not really the issue. The issue is whether you have a right to take political differences and turn them into some kind of mob retaliation against the people you disagree with. Can we just agree on this? Maybe the left should stop calling people Nazis. Maybe that's too far. Maybe that is setting the well, table for something awful. Can we agree on that? Or is it okay to liken people to Adolf Hitler? I mean, for real. We, look, look, Tucker, we can agree on that, but can also the right not support the Charlottesville actual Nazis who are walking around with swastikas? That's what foments it. You have to condemn Nazis? those Nazis. I mean, I don't, before, I've never met anybody who would support it. Okay, look, I've they, never met anybody. Like, who, we yeah, have the, I mean, I, we I, have the say, many side I agree conversations. Okay, but it's one thing to say of someone who is espousing, I guess, Nazi views, you're a Nazi. But to say about someone who disagrees with you on immigration policy, you're a Nazi, what you're saying is, I don't need to win you over, debate you, what I need to do is destroy you. And that's what the left is saying, isn't it? I, I think what, what happens is that when you do not condemn, we do not condemn people like David Duke, we do not condemn the neo-Nazis in Charlottesville, yes. then you get your issues conflated with them. Well, as I said, there's a difference between okay. doing an hour-long speech to people and having a town hall where you speak with people and get their input, get their side of the conversation and, and present you, public you policy an that helps all people. Yeah, okay. Robert, thank you. Well, as you can see, that they're uh, ready to go and calling everybody uh, names. Uh, I mean, it's disgraceful. They have, uh, listen, these people are demented. That, that's basically what it is. And uh, it has to stop at this point. Uh, people need to go uh, and be prosecuted for these kinds of uh, activities. Uh, and that's it. That's the only way to put an end to it get them prosecuted. You cannot have people going around causing ruckuses on their personal time just because you disagree with them, you know? Uh, but that's the mentality of the left. And Tucker Carlson continually asks him, if we don't agree, that means you calling me a Nazi? I mean, really, it doesn't... And, and who uh, is acting more like uh, that uh, group uh, the left, um, I mean, it's sickening at this point. It really is. Uh, but what are you going to do? You, you have to prosecute. They have to know that there, there will be consequences. But as of yet, I don't see too many people uh, paying uh, the price for what they're doing. And that's why you have all this garbage uh, going on here. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.